Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? How is your week? Mine is good. I just want to take this week a bit easy because I've been having very hectic two weeks. The past two weeks have been quite hectic. Not even two weeks, actually the last three months. And I'm going to explain to you guys briefly. So the last three months, in January, that's when I started my YouTube. And I've still, I'm still balancing, I'm still trying to get the balance of shooting in my normal life and any other thing involved and actually that is the reason but i'm i'm kind of getting there and then when it comes to the last two weeks um i've been constructing a house for my parents for quite some time and this is the point where it has been needing a lot of me like it's towards the finishing part not the extreme finishing but when fi finishing starts like the kind of painting and a bit of um inner uh, work it really requires a lot of uh, my time and effort and just being there and money as well. So that is why the last two weeks have been a bit, uh, let me say, hectic. But um, like I've said, I want to take this week a bit slower than usual. And then maybe something else. Um, I've been working on a routine. Like I've been working on a 5 a.m. morning routine for myself. And eventually I'm getting the... I'm actually getting it at first it was a bit so hard to do it especially because I've never been a morning person and finally I'm really getting the uh, I'm finding my way through it so this week I'm most probably going to show you my 5am 5, 5 morning routine and it's working quite perfectly I think that is one thing that has really helped me balance my life because even before content I used to have a really busy life so that has really really helped honestly and of course working out and a couple of things that I'm, I'm going to share with you guys in the course of the week so i think that is it for that so um i'm headed to garden city i'm going to mr price home i need to pick a bit of dining items that i didn't pick last time while i was getting the dining set so i need to get a table runner i need to get the two table mats i need uh, just a few things i'm hoping i'm not going to just pick random things and I'm cutting this thing. Let me show you this cutting. It's a key holder slash. It has a tape. So you can use it as a. I've not used it as a key holder. Because I already have a key holder. Now anytime I'm going to buy items for the house. I carry this thing. Because it has a tape inside it. So you can use it as a key holder. And at the same time uh, as a car, mini tape. So I measured my table. I measure anything that I'm going to order. And then I'm just. So I carry it. And then it's also small. It's not so long, but you can use to measure so many things and just multiply the measurement. Like you can use it. So that is what I'm going to get. I'm also going to do a bit of shopping and maybe we're going to restock the pantry together. So I'm going to take you through what I'm going to get and then we, we will be done with that. The first stop was at Mr. Price's home and I purposely came here to pick a table mat, to a te a dining tablecloths and also a deco stuff for my dining area. But now I didn't like most of the table mats that I found. This is the runner that I picked and honestly Mr. Price's home has a quite a variety of very nice things. The problem is on the price. Now the problem with me, let me speak for myself. I was looking for specific type of black plates, but I didn't find them like black, this type of black, like these bowls over here, a, a whole set of black. But again, I didn't find them uh, here. So, but one thing that I can comment about Mr. Price's home, they have the kind of utensils that I love. When it comes to utensils, I really love exploding on color and not the plain white kind of a thing that I'm used to with other stuffs. So if you can see their utensils are so so good, good colors, good shapes, good uh, variety. Let me just say that I didn't find the thing that I came to look for. But to be honest, whatever they have or uh, whatever is in stock is also quite pretty to look at. And um, one sure thing uh, about this place is that I'm definitely going to come back and look for beddings for my uh bedroom uh, guest bedroom bed and my bed as well because they have good colors and variety as well
The next stop was at China Square. I purposely came here to pick the things that I didn't find at Mr. Price's home and the first things that I bumped into were these spoons that you guys have been asking for. I use these spoons in my cereal uh, containers, in my unga, rice, all that. It's so good for scooping. I hope you guys can see their prices. They come in different sizes like from very big to uh, very small ones and the other ones which are plastic they're not uh, here i didn't manage to record them and um those ones are actually very very affordable so those ones are the spoons something else that i wanted to check were some artificial flowers and also flower pots or wreaths and art as well and honestly if you were looking for artificial flowers china square has so many varieties like of course not ev everything looks so good but i'm sure everything looks good in someone else's eyes or in someone's eyes okay kill them to an appenda and maybe not all, all of us will love it so i captured some of the rows and i managed to zoom into the prices of a few of them and to be very honest i only zoomed into some of uh the ones which i personally feel like they look cute or good like the prices but um there's so many so many varieties that really look good and i didn't get enough time to capture them so i've zoomed into just a few of them and that applies to the flower pots and also the art as well honestly their flowers are well priced like the price is so affordable and some of them really look so 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 good actually i'm comparing the price to maybe a price that i've seen elsewhere like maybe for the tuft grass for these pink and white um, good looking flowers and some of them look so real and they have flower vases to match uh, or to use to to of course to put the flowers in them like all type shape and color of flower vases so i'm also going to show you some few arts and i'll do the same i'll zoom into the prices of some of the ones that i personally feel like they're good i hope you guys will also find them good like the way i did
guys we are on the following day and this is actually everything we got yesterday i'm going to take you shortly through each and every item but first don't mind my caban in the head i just fixed it quickly and tied it because i'm going to pack um the food stuffs so something happened yesterday and i don't know whether it has ever happened to you guys and how do you avoid it like uh for me i'm the kind of a person that doesn't want to have my house keys with so many people so after all the shopping we came back and then we found out that we didn't have car keys sorry house keys and that was because um we 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 always have a small sister in the house and she had traveled so we're used to just living without taking the keys for a very long time so when we come back she's in the house and she'll just open it for us so our memory didn't okay we didn't remember to take the keys that is the point yesterday so when we came back it was around 10 p.m and time to now get our things our stuffs in the house and then we realized that we didn't have the keys so um so it was quite a, a very a hectic night because we had to call uh wanani and she resides quite far actually she's a day bug she comes and goes she resides quite far so organizing all that to get the key took quite a very long time so before we got into the house it time had actually passed so i don't know how do you guys um ensure that maybe for some of you it's easy especially if you always go to job so you always remember to just carry your keys together with your i don't know like it's, it's for some people it can be easy but for people like me who most of the time work from the house sometimes i do forget i've ever forgotten it before but um that time it wasn't as hectic as yesterday so that was the hassle that i actually got yesterday so i think I, I learned my lesson and i'm just going to make sure that i have enough spare keys in the car because that would have saved us from what happened jano siku so let me now take you through what we we got so for me surprise we like I, uh, I told you guys we purposely went there to pick stuffs for the dining uh, table so i wanted a table runner and table mats but uh, and also a centerpiece a deco stuff for the center part of the dining table but we didn't find that i only found this runner this was actually the only option we had and i i just picked it because i knew i knew that it's gonna help and i didn't like the kind of table mats they had so we moved to china square we went to china square to look for uh the variety that they had and again they didn't have quite a lot of variety so we picked these which were also at mr price place and for i can say the price of this compared to the same price of this item that was at mr price now made me realize that i don't know whether you'll say that mr price home really um exaggerates their price or it's too expensive or it's it's just okay for some people this matter chain square one of them was 180 one this one the same mat at mr price home was 550 I didn't pick it then because I thought that I'll find other options, but still this, this one worked. I actually picked this because I somehow felt like it almost looks similar to this uh, runner. So it's not exactly similar, but I'm sure they will work together. But now look at the price difference. 550 for Mr. Price Home, just one, and then 180 for China Square. That's a very different price. And honestly, for me, if, if I get uh, any other item, that is at mr price at any other point i'm just gonna get it elsewhere because that price difference is honestly quite big so this is all i got so the mats are from china square the runner is from mr price and then i picked some other items from china square so i picked this car it's a car phone holder it's 600 shillings you just set it there you can use it to record something um like while you're driving or you can record yourself so this one i also picked a charger it's like a uh, something that you connect with your charger cable to charge your phone with the car and then something important that i picked is this portable fan i loved it because i have like a small fan so i love this particular one because it's a bit big it's actually bigger than than the one i have and it really so that's why i picked this one it was 1700 and 
honestly that one was affordable because it's quite big it's it's huge i don't know whether i can just quickly show you yeah let me show you it's actually this is a very big fan for for the face let me show you so like i'm, I'm spinning it and it has a lot of like it's circulating a lot of hair so i'm getting that I, i'm actually finding this very 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 good so um, um, you can actually speed it up, you can slow it down, and it's so good. I tend to sweat a lot, especially when in the car, and especially when we have a hot, hot weather. So this one is going to come in, in handy. Yeah, so it was 1700 Something else that I picked at China Square was this box for our little girl. So it was each of them was 120 And again, that tells you that the prices of things at China Square are quite affordable. So the Pussin Boots it's like a small a short story book another one snow white and seven dwarfs okay it's a story book for for the for the baby i'm sure she she's she's not so small she's around five years old she's gonna love the stories so 120 each that is what i got for that part so let me quickly take you through um what i got for our shopping and Honestly, this time I didn't want to, to be very, very honest, I didn't want to stock so much because I'm planning to do quite a very uh, large stock for you guys that will be adding every single thing that I shop in the house and why I shop them. So I'm, I'm planning to do that maybe in two or maybe three weeks, maybe two, three weeks. But so I picked just some random items. So let me quickly take you through them and then we pack the stuffs and organize them in the pantry and anywhere else where some of them will will fit so let me take you through that so um let's start with this for hanan tissue i simply pick it because it's quite soft and to be very honest with this one i can pick hanan or any other tissue company that has similar quality very soft when you roll it out it completely rolls off even towards the you see there those tissues that now this one completely completely comes off. There are so many other tissues that have the same uh, the same kind of quality, like soft leaf and others. So I can get um, any of that. I also picked kitchen uh, towels. It's a tissue towel, Hanan as well for the same reason. And then I picked fresher milk. I think I picked this milk majorly because um, I find it it's it, it's quite creamy, like entirely everything i'm not sure whether that is actually right but this one still has some bit of cream it's like in africa we say it's strong okay now for the rice pal basmati this one is my all-time go-to rice because this basmati is so good but now the contrary is with pal pal pishori is a bit uh different from this like i wouldn't get pal pishori for for, for, for pal okay pishori for pal but basmati is so good in our channel when you prepare it and yeah so this one i'll always pick this one unless i get any other company that offers the same quality and for maziwa mala i pick this uh brookside sweetened i feel like they have really balanced the, the sugar it's not too much it's not too little it's just balanced that's for that's how i feel about this one and then for the fruits, honestly, I don't have reasons to as to why I pick the fruits. I just picked them because we needed to stock up fruits. And then for the yogurt, I want you guys to honestly tell me any other yogurt that fits this yogurt. This quantity, like we only have six, we're gonna take it within a very short time because it tastes so good, like so so good. Since I started testing this yogurt, I was introduced by a friend. I've never never gone back. Honestly, it's quite pricey uh, on the, of course, price side, but worth it. Tastes so good. All the flavors, 100%. So for the sugar, a brass sugar, I love a company that supports sports. Sorry, let me start properly. So for the sugar, it's a brass sugar. I love any company that fully supports sports. And as you know, I don't know whether you guys know that Cabras has supported quite a number of sports rugby and so many other sports that i'm not even aware of but for me it's rugby so it, it's a direct sponsor of cabras rugby team and the others as well so i'll always buy a brand that supports young talent and sports so um for 
for the unga ya ugali uh, premium is my go to again ever since i was introduced i love it because it's so sweet like this is the kind of unga that even a bit of utamu so that tells you that it has been prepared well it, it gives you a um, taste of almost natural unga in your mouth of course it's not purely the same but this raha premium or kavagara unga is my go-to for eggs i also picked th these together with the normal all-purpose eggs honestly since i was born we've been using this one and i don't really have a strong reason let me just say this one is a brand lo uh, loyalty kind of a thing i have never found anything wrong with it and i still shop it so let's move to uh, nescaf this one is something that was picked by a family member i am not a big consumer of of coffee so i don't have a, a good reason for that and then cashew nuts this one is just for snacking and uh we picked a small one because let me just say because uh, the previous time we picked a big one and we didn't really finish it like we really for a very long time and that's why we just picked a small one and then uh, this one irritable high fiber digestive of course the high fiber and then it's not sh too sugary like personally i'm not a sweet tooth person of course i love things that taste good but not too sweet so and again fiber again for the snack if you guys have noticed i haven't today i haven't let me say I haven't exaggerated on the snack patches. Um, yeah, so that is just all I got. Colgate. Hmm. This one also is, is, is something that I just picked because of, honestly, brand uh, loyalty. I've been using Colgate ever since, and since I've never found anything wrong with it, I shopped that as well. So I picked these Ziploc bags. I picked this because of the size. They're a bit bigger than the ones I have so yeah for the ziplock honestly it's an oxy ziplock i'll just pick whatever i find because they do the same job for them uh it's 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 a uh, it's the paper for the bin for lining the dust bin i love these ones they are thick they don't easily tear so you can put so much waste and then they are big so even if you have a big dust bin this one really does a good job like for the dust bin liners so i picked two of that and then we move to this one so sunlight dishwashing liquid this soap has a lot of foam it's so good you can use a very small amount and that is enough quite good for washing your dishes and then it's liquid you can just uh, like use it to wash any surface this one it's so good and then um velvex multipurpose disinfectant uh, i think i picked this one from the word go because i didn't find so many companies having a multipurpose disinfectant this one is so good for wiping surfaces that are constantly used, countertops, even the dining top, and then you rinse it off the toilet bowls, the sink in the toilet, and all that. So this one is so good. And then now the only challenge with this, it has a very strong smell. I think that's what I don't like about this. So definitely, if I find any other that has a mild smell, I will really go for it. But it, it does the job done. It has um it gets it has let me just say that it is it is a bit strong and it, it does its, its job now for the matchsticks i love this big one because honestly for the obvious reason in ref also it doesn't burn even it up when you when you're lighting it up but um of course this one we use it to light um the small gas the um, decor and even the griller yeah so sometimes nini upotea lighter upotea and this one really helps and then we have this menengai soap honestly brand loyalty the same feeling that i have for this sunlight liquid soap is the same that i have for these uh bars this one the first time i was actually introduced to it was when someone told me that ukisugwana was furia in a shine kabisa and i used this one and since then I have never gone back. So for real, they are stainless steel. In a shiny ukweli, like it's so good. I honestly will always top this one up unless I'm convinced otherwise. So for the sky, uh, this one is a Yakosha Vyombo. So this one was just a replacement. Honestly, I just picked this one because um yeah, it it, it has this um it has this cup proper rough surface and then the spongy part. So that means that you can you can use it to scrub off dirt and at the same time use it to wash 
utensils that doesn't require scratching. Like this is what I'm saying, this part and this part. So that is why I love this uh, this uh, cleaner for utensils. And then for the gloves, this one, it's Scotch Bright gloves. Actually, when you're buying gloves, for gloves, honestly, I pick the ones that I just find on the shelf. I just ensure that um, I get the, the exact si size. The first time I bought gloves was, um, I did a mistake and took small. So make sure you're buying gloves, check on the sizes. Like this one is medium. M my aunt takes medium. Small, of course, is for someone who has a bit smaller uh, arm size. So that is very important to check. Now for the hand wash, I've really come to love Carex um, hand wash. This one with coconut milk smells so good. I think the only challenge that I have with this is the size of the bottle. It's not um, that big. It's also so foamy. So I really love this one. I really love, I'm sure they have a big one. Maybe I didn't find it on the shelf yet, but it smells so good. So for me as well. And um, now for the, for, the, for the body wash, I honestly, up to today, I haven't found something that can replace Dove uh, body, body wash. This body wash is so good. I didn't find the exact favorite uh, uh, type that I love. I think I love the one that has a bit of, um, it, it has a bit of, was it lavender? Yeah. And then this one as well is so good. For me, smells so good. Genuinely leaves your body so relaxed. I honestly love Dove. I've tried, actually I ran out of them and I tried another one that we quickly got it from a nearby place and honestly you cannot compare it with how you feel after you've showered with this. It smells so good. And then uh, Nivea Nourishing Cocoa. This cream here, I, I find it like it's the type of cream that it, it is easy to get and it leaves your skin smooth, supple and genuinely affordable because creams that have the same kind of, um, of, of results are quite pricey, honestly, genuinely. And then um, for the, the washing uh, powder, I picked this Omo. I think there was a mistake. There's the other one that has like a pink color here and now this one. Honestly, I don't know the difference. Maybe they are the same. But Omo, again, it's brand loyalty and at the same time, it doesn't affect my hands. Kuna type of washing powder that if I use them, come again, I'm sure um, something like Ariel, honestly, it leaves my hand a bit cheap. It's so, it's, it's a bit, maybe that is just for me because my skin is, my, my the skin on, on my hand is quite sensitive and I find most people loving it. So maybe for me, it's just not um, good. But this one is so good, so loyalty and so good on my hands. Like, yeah. So uh, I also picked this, uh, they are the, what do you call them? They are the clothes for bathing, and the gloves as well. So these ones are specifically for my guests. So when they, I need a lot of them actually, these ones are few. So anytime someone comes, I always need to replace them up. So this one is just in case someone comes and we can easily just give them instead of going to shop for them. So finally, I picked this coach. It's, it's again for my school girl. She's gonna use it to organize her pants and a few other items so i don't know if there's anything that i haven't shown you guys so that is my shopping for you today guys so i'm going to quickly organize them with you and um hopefully if i get to do now an entire like there's a time i'm planning to do it for you guys i'll do an entire shopping of every single thing that i get so maybe from now i'll start stocking a bit a bit small amount so that i can be able to achieve that so that i'll take you through everything yeah, but for now, this is what we have. So let's go and stock them up and organize them. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. It has just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Pulls us from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. As we shout from the top, we're gonna, we're gonna be two hearts running wild.
so guys i've been working on a morning routine and i have actually done this for a very long time and i feel like it's the right time for me to at least show you how my routine looks like it's it's a 5 a.m morning routine so um i find this a very maybe it, it's actually the right time for me to tell you guys because i've really struggled coming up with a routine and even um the hardest part was actually the part where i need to wake up at 5 a.m and actually earlier it's not 5 a.m it's a bit earlier sometimes sometimes at five but coming up with that routine honestly it has been quite hard but i've i've started finding uh i've actually found rhythm in it and i'm really loving it because it's really helping me do a lot of things within the day and even start the day earlier one thing i don't know I, i'm i'm sure that um most of my people that follow me do different things of course but if you're an entrepreneur or you do anything that doesn't require anyone to push you you definitely know that you can tend to to lag or to do things at your own pace or sometimes not to do things the time that they were supposed to be done but if you craft a routine or, or you come up with a specific habit that you follow strictly that one will really help you be productive i hope not becoming a motivational speaker that wasn't the intention of me informing you this like it just helps you be productive and do everything the way it was supposed to be done and this routine has enabled me to wake up early of course do my uh, be done with my workout as early as possible and then i start off the day and honestly i'm still getting used to shooting content and even sharing it if you follow me on tiktok and instagram then you know that i most definitely almost like almost post reels there daily like almost not really daily but almost because i only always keep maybe once or twice a week but some weeks i even post them the entire week so again i also have other things running and my schedule is honestly busy so coming up with this routine honestly has really really helped me and i'm sure i'm just going to take you through it shortly i'm sure um if anyone wants to come up with a routine whether you're working eight to five and you want to do something extra whether you just want to craft you are a student you just want to come up with a routine you, you of course don't need to look at someone else's routine we all don't do the same things but you can craft yours and just um come up with it there's honestly nothing good like coming up with a habit that helps you do your things efficiently so um let me take you guys through it and then you see it most of the time i wake up between 4 50 to 5 10 and today my alarm rang several times so i was actually uh, responding to the one at 5 or 8 so i quickly spread my bed and then i brush my teeth take a quick shower just to ensure that i completely wake up because and then i go and prepare a snack it could be a granola alongside a banana or cornflakes alongside a banana then rush to the gym when i'll be coming back that's when i'll take a proper bath so the goal is to ensure that i get to the gym before uh like 5 40 and then come back before 7 so that i can start off the day a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine we want to chase the night
short this routine on a Saturday. Saturdays are a bit slower for me and immediately after taking a shower, I always come and prepare breakfast for my people. So I had I had quite a lot of time. So I prepared some porridge and then later on I prepare the main breakfast. So this is the time now in between breakfast. That is the time where I get to reply to most of your comments, uh, Pale IG and TikTok and Facebook as well. And then I'll get the main breakfast. Then the goal is to ensure that I settle down by 8 a.m. for the serious, serious business of the day.
so immediately after breakfast i get to to my work desk and start editing my most recent work because i don't want my work to pile up also my face has really had a serious breakout honestly um let me see what i'll do about that Today my cleaners will be coming here and they're coming to do a very thorough kind of cleaning like not the usual cleaning that we do of course we always try and do a thorough cleanup but theirs is a bit thorough and what I love about them is they're coming to clean everything from here like even my carpets will be cleaned from here I actually have a problem um, with any with taking my carpets to any place for them to be washed like I just feel good when they're washed from here and they're going to do that so they're gonna wash all the carpets actually all of them including two small small rugs and mats they're also going to clean the couches like properly and the bed as well and even the dining seats too like all kind of they're also even going to wipe the other beds from the other rooms and something else that they're going to do is they'll be washing the entire house like thorough washing the kind of washing that is scrubbing the tiles washing in between the tiles and spotting any dirt wiping the lights wiping the sockets like windows the doors like everywhere everywhere even wiping my flower pots like they have come here before they're called the devi soap cleaners and what i love about them is that they're a very big team they they, uh, they have just told me that there'll be nine and you see that kind of um like it, it's our uh, like work power am i it's <laughs> manpower sorry <laughs> like manpower will make them do the job within a very short time honestly like nine people so they will distribute themselves all over and they're coming with amazing detergents to just remove any kind of stuff that that we've never been able to, to been able to remove i love them again and they're the people that wash for us the entire house the first time we moved in here they have washed it before and this is actually almost the fourth time if i'm not wrong and their work is always so good something else that i can mention about them is they are very good modern machines like um they do the kind of cleaning that they have very massive suction cleaners their cleaning leaves your furniture and even mats almost dry like almost so we will just need to give it a bit of time for for them to air dry and then we use them almost immediately like i'm not lying about this so their cleaning is going to be like i've experienced it before and i know it's going to be good so of course i'm going to show you small parts of the job that they will do and the outcome as well